Hi guys, it's Chill Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another tutorial with um, the Tessie Beauty palette because I can't get enough of it. And I really just want to use more colorful looks. I know I just did a video on this one yesterday. I don't really know when they're going to be going up on my YouTube channel. So I don't know the order on which you're seeing these, but I really want to dip into this like pinkish colors, maybe go a little bit deeper. I really want to combine this black and this poet shade it's just like what I want to do today so we're gonna see what look I come up with I'm also gonna be just doing the full makeup tutorial just because why not we're just kind of chilling right here I have my PJs on I also have this really nice nails from kiss they're like press on nails so we're just gonna see what look I come up with um, just get comfortable grab a snack and let's just go ahead and get started all right so I brought you guys a little bit closer just because I want you guys to see like the actual look on my eyes and I'm gonna be let me just check that this actually fits in here. Okay, I'm going to be grabbing the shade Poet to start with. So taking this shade, I'm just going to be putting this all over my crease and just kind of blending it out. This shade is just so beautiful. I cannot get enough of like this formula, the colors on this palette. I just really, really like it. The only thing that I have found is that the Aura column is probably the one that I'm going to use the least. Just because it kind of disappears on my eyes a little bit but I can definitely use the glitter and the you know the shimmers and the sequin as a topper or something like that but the matte on that I definitely can just use it to like set my eyes and that's pretty much it unless I was doing like a whole matte look you know but yeah the other ones are all really really nice and I feel like I would get so much use out of them okay you guys saw how that just blended out so easy I'm going to put a little bit more on the crease right there just because I really want to emphasize that pink or violet. Let's just blend in this a little bit better right there. Not that it needs it, honestly, but it's just nice to just really build up your color. That way when you go in with some other shades, this color doesn't get, um, you know, forgotten. I kind of like it. I'm going to put a little bit more right here just because with the lighting, it's kind of creating a weird shadow. And I don't know if it's something that you can actually see or if it's just me. So I'm just going to cover it. Now I'm going to go with this black shade. And this shade is really pigmented. So I'm going to start packing it on the outer part of the eye. Nothing too crazy. Just got to be careful because this shade can go really far really far really fast so I'm just packing it right there and I'm kind of like blending it in towards the middle of the lid I'm also going to just be putting a little bit of this towards the crease just kind of following along but we're just going to cover this up with some glitter so don't be alarmed Now that we have the little mess, I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to start blending this in on the crease. And that's looking really nice. You can go back with the Poet if you like. Actually, we might just go back with it just to blend a little bit more of that violet on the crease so everything looks nice and put together. But you guys see like how nice this black just blends. I'm just so impressed by it. I'm kind of just setting the other parts on the lid. If I was using any other palette, this would take me so much longer. And you guys are seeing how this is just looking really nice, really quick. I'm putting a little bit more of that black and just blending it in. I want it to look very smoky, very nice. And lastly, I'm going to go back with my pink shade. Or my Poet shade. I don't want to keep calling it pink. My Matte Poets. And I'm just going to be putting this over that to really be, bring back that violet shade. I feel like now we're really, really seeing it. 
I honestly cannot believe how fast we're going through this look. But now I'm going to go with the memory glitter. And I'm literally just going to be putting this over top of that. You guys see this? I don't have anything on my brush by the way. This is all from this just one swipe with an empty brush. All right, so I'm gonna be doing this eye and I'll just be right back. I do have to say, I really, really love this looks. They're just, each one of the looks that I've done comes out so nicely with that palette. I'm just so impressed. I think I'm just gonna fast forward this part. I'm gonna show you guys kind of the products that I'm using and then we're just gonna come back onto the eyes after. on and my eyes are a little bit watery just because my eyes are so sensitive. I did put a little bit of eye pencil on my waterline. This one is the Fergie Wet n Wild eye pencil and this one is in the shade um, I think it's X Stacy. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put a little bit more just after I do like underneath my eyes but I want to reach back into the Tati palette and I want to use the matte from memory. I'm gonna be using just a shader brush. This one is from Sigma. Um, this is a short shader E20. I want to apply this black and you guys can see how pigmented it is so I'm being really careful honestly I don't think this is the right brush for it just because I think it's a little too big this is why I hate shader brushes but I'm still gonna try because I already did it on the other side I'm reaching into my matte from Poet. I'm reaching into matte from Poet. And this one, I'm really gonna take and blend this underneath the eyes. Can't really see. For my brow bone, I'm actually gonna take the metallic shade from Aura, which is this one right here. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I have to say, I have loved each one of the looks that I've done with the Tati Beauty palette. It is just such a stunning palette and this one is no different. I feel like this one is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite, just because I love this eye look. I just love the contrast with like the black glitter and then the pink. It just looks really, really stunning. I feel like if I had maybe something else um, and not just a sweater, it would look a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more 
put together. But I really like the lashes as well. I used the Mami from ColourPop. I've been loving these. I did want to use some that I purchased at CVS the other day, but I'm going to save them for another video just because I thought they were a little bit too neutral, but they are really, really nice. These, these are just new. They're the Naked Lashes by Ardell, and I just think that they look really stunning. I just thought that this one being with such a dark glitter, I feel like it needed a little bit more and I didn't want it to get lost. So I decided to go with this and I feel like I really, really like how it came out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are enjoying your Tati Beauty Pal if you do have it at home. If you're thinking about it, it's still on pre-sale. So make sure you get it because you can get it in less than a month, I think. Honestly, recommend it with my eyes closed. It is amazing. You guys saw how easy I put together this look that would honestly take you hours to just blend out a black shade especially when you're using glitter and I had no fallout I didn't have to clean up my face afterwards it was just so insane how I had this look in three minutes when I finished my eyes it usually takes me about 35 minutes to do a whole eye look I looked at the camera and I look at the viewfinder and it said 13 minutes and my look at least one eye was completely done and that never ever happens so I just want to throw that out there that it's just so easy to put looks together with a palette just because the formula just helps you I feel like it just helps you blend it helps just it's just amazing. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. As always, please don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.